it gives my life balance, surfing. It might sound funny, but it's, um, it keeps me young, it keeps me active, it keeps me fit. I do it with my kids. I avoid my wife. <laughs> There's a million of reasons why I do it. I love it. I'm from Aries Inlet. This, this is my life. It's where I live. It's where I spend <laughs> half my time. It's where I recreate. It's where I come if I'm in a cranky mood. Recreating's one thing, but it's also, you know, it's a food source. It's it's our lifestyle. It's 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 why everyone's here. It's tourism. It's the economics of the town. It's a uh, oil spill here would would just wipe it off the wipe it off the planet. It'd be devastating. Oh, I, I mean, it might sound crazy, but I just can't imagine living on a coast you can't use. I can't imagine living here and looking at a, a ruined coastline, not being able to do what I love to do and why I love to be here. So to me, it'd, it'd sink a nail in the coffin of a place like this. At what point do you go, no, nah, that's not worth it. We know we've got sun turns up every day. We know we've got tides coming in and out and waves. We know we can generate um, power and, and energy other ways to, to risk it all. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make it to me. Putting an oil rig in, we know what the risk is. It's been demonstrated. So we can't say to our kids, oh yeah, we just let it happen and we didn't do anything. And yeah, sorry, we just ruined the entire coast. It'd be hard to explain. My name's Tim Wood and I will fight for the bite.